Hi, my name is Mike, and today we're going to install a processor. And this is the FX 4130 and memory on a Gigabyte 78 LMT USB 3 motherboard. So uh, let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do over here is uh, there's a latch next to the uh, processor socket. I'm going to go ahead and open that latch. What that does, it slides the socket open so that we can insert the uh, processor. This is the AMD processor we're going to be using. As you can tell, the uh, processor has a little notch on this side right here. Right there we go. See that little golden notch? And what you're looking for on the socket itself, on the board, there should be a little notch that uh, looks just like the notch on the actual processor. Which on this one, it's kind of hard to see, but it's on this side. It's got a little notch with a white arrow pointing to the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and match these up and uh, just drop the socket. The socket fits right in. Now, if we were to do this wrong, let's just turn that processor around right here. And we place it on the board wrong. You see how that doesn't line up? Try not to force the socket or the processor. Um, if it doesn't fit, turn it. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it to the right position again. And if you kind of take a close look, that processor will just fall right in. There we go. Fell right in. Um, of course, once the socket is in, I, I give it a gentle pressure down, and I'm talking about gentle pressure, and I go ahead and close that latch. Now we have the socket, socket installed. Um, it's not going to come out. It's, it's in there pretty tight once that that uh, lever is locked in. What we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and put the uh, fan on top of the processor. This one actually came with the uh, processor. The thermal paste compound is already on the processor so we don't have to uh, apply any thermal paste. Um, there's some people that say add more. I don't agree. If the factory sends it that way, leave it that way. That's my whole thinking. Um, what you do is you kind of look at where your cabling is going right here and, and then match it up with where on the board you're going to actually be plugging in that cable. Um, I usually, I try to get it halfway to the distance. So right here, we're going to be plugging in in this corner. And so I'm going to situate the... Uh, now let me move that a little bit. Situate the uh, fan like so. And what we're doing is we're lining up these arms with the hooks right here on, on the board. And again, all I'm doing is just dropping it into place. There we go. I kind of move it around as needed. Now this gives me enough room to run the cable around and plug in right here in the corner. Um, I'm going to situate the uh, camera just a tad bit better. There we go. What I'll do is go ahead and put the arm into the latch over here. Uh, make sure this lever is down in the open position. Um, just kind of play around and see how the arm moves up and down. But the down position is on my side, the left-hand side. And all you do is kind of give it some pressure, downward pressure, until it latches. So basically what we've done we have latched right here the arm to the little hook on the actual plate of the uh, uh, heat sink face plate. So, and to tighten, all we do is take this lever and, uh, well, 
push it to the right. This tightens the uh, fan. You can still kind of adjust the fan. I, I always kind of move it back and forth to make sure that the paste gets uh, a good connection with the processor. And plus, I kind of center it just for, you know, the looks. Um, I then run the cable underneath the heat sink. And then I plug it in on the board. Now, usually the board is labeled. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you this part. Um, right here, it's a CPU fan. And what I did is I ran my cabling coming out of the fan around the copper tubing underneath into the CPU fan. So there we have it. We have a processor installed and a uh, heatsink and fan on a gigabyte motherboard. And um, next we're going to go ahead and install the RAM, which will be on this side in these sockets. What we're going to do now is go ahead and install the RAM or memory, or I've heard <laughs> non-computer users call it many different things, but uh, what we're installing is DDR3. And there are only a, a couple of uh, things you need to look for before you install it or uh, actually press down on the on the uh, memory. Okay, number one, you want to go ahead and open these latches. This is what actually holds your memory in. Uh, number two, on the board, it will tell you the sequence and it should be right here DDR1, DDR3, DDR2 and DDR4 depending on what kind of memory you purchased there's actually what's called dual um, RAM and uh, we just purchased some you know cheap superstore you know, uh, RAM that we're going to utilize for this uh, demonstration. But uh, <clears throat> what you're looking for is you're wanting to match this notch right here with the notch on the board. See, there's a there's a notch that follows all the way down the board. And since this was DIM one, we're going to go ahead and put it in the first socket right here. We want to make sure that that line and that notch actually lines up. Once that does, you want to give it gentle pressure down. The two clips close. You want to make sure that you know they're closed, and uh, and we go to the second. Make sure that the uh, two notches right here line up. And I'm going to go ahead and match the color. We have uh, white, blue, white, blue. Since the uh, white is number one, we're going to utilize number one and number two slots. Um, the blues are the three and fours. So I'm go ahead and make sure they line up. Gentle pressure down. There we go. Now we have the memory installed. One of our next videos, what we're going to do is uh, install the uh, motherboard into the case and uh, we'll move from there. Thanks for watching and I look forward to my other videos, including the installation of the uh, motherboard with processor and memory into a uh, generic case. Thank you.